It was late on the night of June the 19th, 1978, and the Mann family, Mum, Dad, their two young daughters and an aunt, were driving along this lonely Oxfordshire road near Farringdon when they pulled up and got out to look at a strange light in the sky. John Mann, a self-employed builder who never used to believe in UFOs, told me what happened next. Well, I got out of the car and was about to walk towards this um, flying saucer that we saw up close. And Gloria, my wife, panicked and told me to get back into the car, which I did. And we drove off, but apparently we found out later that the flying saucer then came round into the road and stopped the car when the whole family got out and we were surrounded by a, a mist of light and floated up into the flying saucer. We were given a very brief medical examination and then shown around their ship um, uh, where we were allowed to ask questions. Uh, later, the flying saucer moved to further down the road, approximately about a mile, where we were dropped and put back down and our car was there waiting for us. Were you able to find out much about them, about what they were doing, why they were here? Well, they told us they were here because their own planet had been destroyed and they are now looking for another planet where they can live. What did they look like, these people from Janos? Um, well, the women were about my height, um, very fair, quite attractive, some of them. And the men were about John's height, probably taller. And they were very fair as well, very fair actually. And they spoke English? They spoke English to us, yes. When they spoke to each other, they spoke another tongue. <laughs> what about the spaceship itself, Francis? What was that like? Well, it was very large. Um, we think there's probably four storeys. We certainly went up some um, ramps. Um, it was really like being in a submarine, only much larger. Lots of corridors that went round corners. Um, lots of machinery on the walls in the medical room particularly and um, not so much in the restaurant there was just the one machine on the wall there where um, they got drinks and food. Tanya, you were only a little girl at the time. What do you remember of the spaceship? Well, I remember when Mummy had a drink and she said that my feet are like jelly. Oh yes, because <laughs> I was scared. So you were only a very little girl at the time, weren't you? Yes. Natasha, what about you? What do you remember about that flying saucer well, and the people on it? First of all, I remembered Sakia's mm -hmm. lady. She was looking after me and she took me into this room where I saw pictures. Well, these are some drawings that you made about what happened. What do they show? What's on well, that first, first one? Well, first of all, this was when Dad stopped the car and we looked at the flying saucer. This is Zacchaeus and she looks after me um, on the flying saucer and she showed me the pictures. Do any of you now have any doubt at all that it really happened? No, None really. whatsoever. We <laughs> didn't see a UFO. We saw a flying saucer up yeah, close. Yeah. <laughs>